To change the map on display, use the map selector on the map window. When this is green, there are other maps available to view. At smaller scales across the world, there are two maps available. The Collins Bartholomew World Panorama map and Atlas style is on display now. You'll see I can also display world boundaries. To switch to that, just select the button to the right of it. Let's move back to Great Britain now and keep that map selector open as we zoom in on London. You'll see it has now turned grey as there are no alternative maps available. As I keep zooming in, you'll see it turn green. So at this scale, I'm viewing an Ordnance Survey map, but I can also view an aerial map. Just select the button to the right of the name to display it. The next option is Aerial X, which is the same aerial map, but with road and place names added to it for context. We also have 1950s and 1890s Ordnance Survey maps for the whole of Great Britain. Note that these historic maps are not available at every scale. They're not suitable for display at larger scales. You can combine maps by using the slider bar above the list of maps. So you could compare a historic and contemporary map, for example. I've moved to an area where I know there's been a lot of building in recent years. So we have our OS map displayed. I'm going to select a 1950s map on the left. Now I can move the slider bar in steps to fade out the OS map and bring in the historic map. When you're outside Great Britain, you'll find as you zoom in, we switch to OpenStreetMap, so there's no additional maps at larger scales. OpenStreetMap offers fantastic detail in urban areas. It's worth noting that OpenStreetMap is a community effort. It's collected by a worldwide community. So if you're in a less populated part of the globe and at a larger scale, you may come across areas where there's no mapping available. Let's look at Canada, for example. If I zoom in on Hudson Bay, there's no mapping as we zoom further in. 